Arches National Park in Utah. We are about to embark on our very first hike here to Delicate Arch, the most popular spot. That's why it's dark out. It's about 5 a.m. right now. Before I catch you up on what we've been up to, let's wait for the sun to come up so you can actually see me. So two videos ago, we were on the Oregon coast running from wildfires, and then in our last video, we were doing the same at Crater Lake. We spent a few days in Salt Lake City with my friend Valerie, and we also got to explore the Bonville Salt Flats, which were absolutely insane. We've really, really enjoyed Utah up until this point. I think this is an epic way to start Arches National Park. Look at that thing. That's natural. It's on Utah's license plate, so no wonder there's a ton of people here. It's a great picture spot. Just know that you're not gonna be alone. No matter how early you come, whether it's 5 a.m. like Anna and I are late at night, there's still gonna be people here. We came to the other side of the arch just now, and it's stunning, so make sure you definitely explore the whole area, because you are able to find some secluded spots here, but otherwise, it's like cutthroat up there. People yell at each other, like if they're under the arch too long, and like, pretty crazy. This is what we hiked in the dark. No idea where we were going the entire time. People were following us like we knew something. It took us 45 minutes in the dark, so super fast. Definitely faster in the dark than it would be right now because you're waiting for people. If there's anything I would say is try to get the All Trails app and use that or Google Maps because you might get lost. Just got back to our amazing campsite, only 15 minutes from Moab and five minutes from Arches National Park, so it's perfect. You guys know we love our free campsites, but this one especially is packed. It was hard for us to get a spot, but now that we do have a spot, we save it with our tent and our table. And that's a huge tip for anyone looking for free camping. Make sure you just mark your spot, kind of like a dog marks his spot with his pee. Sorry if we got a bit distracted today. We actually heard about this amazing opportunity for the chance to be Michelob Ultra Pure Gold's new CEO. CEO does not stand what you think for. It actually stands for Chief Exploration Officer. You get the chance to get $50,000, six months of travel, and a brand new van. It just sounds like something that we need in our lives. We bought our own little six pack today and we're actually going to do, you know, some above and beyond work. your story but either way you're always here to watch us tonight we're gonna to be heading somewhere for sunset and we're gonna show you more of arches this place might turn really red for sunset so get excited We just filled up our water and our portable shower down below at the entrance to the National Park. A huge tip is that you can get free water refills at National Parks otherwise you just go ahead to Walmart and you could fill it up for 39 cents a gallon. Here's an opening right here and right over here it is beautiful there's another wedding going on there's a wedding at delicate arch this morning and now there's another one not a bad place to get married wow this is what it's all about america your landscapes amaze me this whole trip and amaze me every single day. I am just so grateful that Anna and I can do this trip. I mean, I'm gonna look back on it in a couple years and be like, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe we got a small little transit. We love you, Woot Woot Mobile. I can't believe we're going to all these dream places we've always dreamed of. I can't believe I just said dream twice, but seriously, it's been one of the best adventures I've ever had in my entire life. And I'm just thankful for her. Guys, I have a hidden talent that most of you don't even know about. It's called cupping. One, two, three, four. Ian's making me do this. For those of you who didn't know, I danced through college and I was a Carolina Coquette. We danced at halftime with a band. I don't know where to look. C-A-R-O-L-I-N-A-Go-Cox! <laughs> you 
USC's finest, Anna the Serbian. <laughs>
We have just arrived at Corona Arch. Look at this. This hike is by far Anna and I's favorite hike near Moab. I mean, it's only like 10 minutes from the city and five minutes from Arches National Park. We got the drone here. We were basically the only ones for a while. And you get this epic arch. Just make sure to bring bug spray. If I had one to two days in the Moab area, I would do this hike, the primitive trail we showed you two days ago, and then of course, delicate arch, because you don't want to miss that one, although it is popular. Anna, can I get a woot woot? One last thing before we leave this beautiful spot is that bow tie arch is right there with the hole in the wall and then there's the corona arch. And a unique thing about this canyon is that there's railroad tracks that go right through it. So if you're lucky one day, you will see a train come through. Utah and our car started smoking when we were driving. Of course, it's a mountainous area. Right here, right when I opened up this, the engine coolant was boiling and we looked at it. Under the car, it started leaking. Coolant was below the min line, so we had to fill this up. I thought the car was gonna be on fire in like a second, so we pulled over, traffic's going by, people were helping us, it was nice. I helped too, I was drinking a beer. After our car broke down, we headed to the Archway Inn for three days to celebrate Anna's 24th birthday. Woot woot! Happy woot. birthday, Anna. We're getting it towed an hour and 45 minutes away. We have AAA, but that only takes care of 100 miles, so we have to pay the extra 13 miles out of pocket. Woohoo for us. If you liked the video and got any value out of it, comment down below, like this video, and share it with friends. Hopefully you enjoy your time at Arches National Park in the Moab area. Get ready for an epic adventure. I'm pumped for you guys. Let's go. See you later. Woot woot! Next time on the other side. Welcome to Bryce Canyon National Park. Where we did meet some friends, our new friends, Q and Bishop. Here they are. Losers. We're so much better without Anna, guys. By far, one of the most beautiful things we've seen on this trip. Everything was stolen, and we came back, and there's literally nothing. It's the number one barbecue place in Utah. I don't know, I just can't help but cry. It was just the most moving experience.